Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we're going to test out 3D printed bicycle cranks and they are designed and manufactured by Finnish additive manufacturer ecosystem. They should be stronger because they are topology optimized. Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> it's like this in real, real life. And I think the shape is better. This video is also sponsored by Finnish additive manufacturer ecosystem. But our force sensor doesn't know that, so he is going to be totally unbiased, no matter what happens. And here you can see all the designs and the weights for those. And we are going to also test regular bicycle crank that weighs around 280 grams. It's like ugly as hell, so probably wouldn't sell many of these. But this is like the perfect shape according to computers. So really interesting to see how it goes. Of course the like regular crank is probably forged. So it has maybe the advance of the better material, but these are better shape. So it's going to be really interesting test. And this is not the actual hardcore science part of the whole project. That part is done in Lappeenranta University of Technology. They are doing stress tests for these same cranks. So they're loading them with 200 kilograms and see how many cycles they can take. And we are going to load them a bit differently. The piston is going to go down until the crank is gone. <laughs> so let's start with the aluminium one. Nice sound. You can hear how thin is the material. Okay, here it goes. I go really slowly. Look what happened, something, something snapped. Yeah, it rotated around this. I go check from behind, is there any cracks? I cannot see anything. I think we go slightly more so we can get like better, better picture where it failed. Now it's gone. <laughs> this was also really clever to start with aluminium because it gets damaged around the axle and aluminium is softer than steel. So I hope that our axle is still okay because we choose to use the aluminium. And here is the simulation of aluminium cranks failure points. And they are around the same area. It's hard to say where the first snapped came, but the actual failure was on the same area still. This is, ah, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's left sided thread, yes, let's hope that the axle is still okay, otherwise we need to make a new one, hmm. huh, yeah, huh, huh, I, <laughs> I thought that it's broken, but it was part of this. Yeah, but it failed from here. This hole like this is probably, probably okay. Let's do titanium. Okay. Because if something happens to this, mm. I want to, I think the titanium is the most interesting one. So we have to get that done. Okay, and then the titanium. And surprisingly, this is about the same weight, but Let's see if it's any stronger. I think it should be. Okay, I'm going to say 800 before first sound and 1300 for complete failure. Oh, 
I think it was, it was this much, I forgot to reset that, but this cracked like it should crack. Yeah, and the modeling results predict really nicely the titanium fail points, they were exactly spot on. Yeah, and this was much stronger and you can see how the like titanium is more stretchier. It went like actually down a little bit before it cracked. And because of this, titanium bicycle frames are more comfortable than aluminium. You can design little bit stretch into them, so they are not rock hard. Yeah, but this was interesting. It's a bit more stuck. Ah. Yeah, this is completely fine. This is completely fine. Yeah, pretty interesting. I think we are going to then test the steel one and that's way heavier. These were about the same weight, but the steel one is much, much heavier. Then the last one of 3D printed ones, steel. This was stainless steel, 316L. So it's much heavier than the titanium and aluminium. And let's see how strong it is. We are getting there. That's strong. That's, yes. Yeah. It's interesting, it's clearly, clearly going down. It's really stretchy. I haven't heard anything. I think it's already broken somehow. It can't stretch this much. Now I heard something. It has to be already broken. Or then the axle is failed. Oops. Okay, let's have a look. Yes, so like titanium, the steel one was also really well modeled. The failure points were exactly the same on the model and on the press. Okay, the like attachment point for the pedal, that's on wrong direction. It's clearly bent somehow. Oh, oh. The problems are on the uh, other side. Yeah, there is plenty of problems there. <laughs> Let's see the problem. Also, these cracked here. Ah. I think it was the, on the end, mm. end when it popped out. This is gone. These are not straight anymore. Oh. It's, it's twisted the end of this. So, I declare that this is strong enough. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but uh, it failed from here. So this failed, and then the axle itself. Now this was interesting. But this was also like it didn't like, it just twisted. <laughs> hmm. I think we need to replace this before testing the like regular crank. Mm. Okay, we changed the axle and made other small modifications. And now we have the regular factory made crank and I'm pretty sure that this is forced, forced, forged aluminium. So forced material is probably better than printed material, we are going to find out. But this is really simple shape, just like U-shaped profile with the fancy ends. So, not so complicated and optimized shape. So, really interesting to see. The aluminium one did like 600 kilos and this is 10 grams lighter. And this time we have real pedal here. 
On the printed ones, we had a little bit different thread, so our pedal didn't mount there. So we had the axle, but it doesn't affect the like setup is totally the same. This just looks nicer. Okay, it's strong. It's it's really strong. Oh, now now something happened. <laughs> what was it? Uh, nothing happened. Hmm? Let's keep going. Yeah, the pedal is broken. Holy shit, it's strong. I think now we are again okay twisting the uh, axle. These have been deformed. Mm. So this was like the weak point of this part. It was already broken quite much before it snapped. I thought that it was like this. And here are all the results and failure points. So the store both aluminium cranks were 900 kilos. So they just beat the aluminium cranks. But the titanium and steel were stronger and titanium had also better mass to strength ratio. And I think this was really interesting video to do, especially now when I see like the all the uh, like model calculations of where they should fail and compare them to like hydraulic press. And one thing that I was really skeptical about was the like the ends of the cranks where the pedal is attached, those look so thin, but they all held really nicely. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.